Hi, this is Tim. Today I need to downgrade the firmware in our machine trainer. Right now it's running version 33 and I need to do a test in version 32. And I just wanted to go through how I'm actually gonna do it because it's not as simple as selecting the firmware. In Studio 5000, here's my program and it says right there, it's version 3311. I wanna take it back to version 32. So if I go offline, and I right click the controller and go to properties and I go to change controller, right there is our software version. And I would hope to be able to go to version 32 here, but it's not that simple. And there's a lot of reasons it's not that simple. Obviously, as you go up in versions, there could be you know, changes that were made for safety. There could be functional differences, things like that. But there is a way that you can get around that. And to do that, and this is straight out of a tech note, this isn't any type of hack or anything, but instead I'm gonna go and file save as. And I'm just gonna save this file right here. But I, instead of saving it as an ACD file, I'm gonna save it as an LK5 file, which is a Logix Designer import export file. And now let's go to Windows Explorer. And let's go where we just saved that file. So there is our LK5 file. Let's right click it and open with, and we're gonna use Notepad. This is gonna let me edit it. Now, real quickly, you're gonna wanna just change this version right here from in our case, I want to go from 33 to 32. That doesn't actually do anything. We're going to want to change it in three different places. And first is this IE underscore VR. And for each version of Studio 5000, there's also an IE version. And so for version 33, it is actually 2.23. And then we're going to need to find, actually, and probably the easiest way is to search for 33. Let's see. We need to find, there it is. So the controller major, right now it says 33. We need to change that to 32. And let's find the next one. And this is the module. So the local module, and there is our PLC. I wanna change that one to 32. So those three places we do have to change. Then I'm gonna hit file save, and now let's go right back to Studio 5000, and let's hit the open button, and we're gonna open that LK5 file that we just saved. And it's gonna ask us, where do you wanna import it to? Because it's gonna create an ACD file for it. And mainly now that I have it back open, right up here we can see it says 32.11, and that is the version that I wanted. So now I am going to go to communications, who active, and I'm gonna find my PLC and I'm gonna click the download button. And it's not gonna give me the option right now to download because I need to update my firmware, even though I'm actually downgrading. And yeah, now it is gonna allow us to download our program.